Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to split screen and or multitask on the Apple iPad. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for spending time with me again. If you're new to my channel and you find this video helpful, please subscribe so you know when I drop new content. Let's begin. I will let you know that there are several ways to accomplish these goals today. So let's start first by opening up the app maps. Now that our desired application is open, look in the top center. You'll see three dots. Touch those dots. And you're going to want to touch the option in the middle, the one that looks like a half and half split screen. The one on the right will cover in a different tutorial on another day. So by touching the middle option, it kicks it off to the side. And then a little helpful hint says split view, choose another app. So that was maps. Let's open up the reminders. Touch and tap, boom, there we are. Now we have two apps running. Then we have the maps over here. What are we looking at? This is the globe. And over here we have the reminders. Make a video, have fun, meet new people. So now you can interact with both of these apps at the same time as you desire. Okay, moving forward, let me draw your attention to the gray bar in the very center. Touch and hold it and you can adjust the size of the split screen windows. There we are. And again. Now, if you drag it all the way too far, it will close out the app. So the maps being on the left, the reminders on the right. Let's close out the reminders by going all the way to the right until it's gone. Now it's closed. We're no longer multitasking. So we just closed the reminders app by dragging it to the right side of the screen. I'll now show you the other way to split screen multitask, not using the three dots. From the very bottom edge of the screen, you touch and drag upwards. This brings up your little command bar. Let's open up Safari. We're gonna to touch and hold the Safari icon. Now we're gonna drag it until it offers to become a window and then let go. Now we have the maps open right here. And here is the internet browser. So I just accidentally touched on the image which Google was showcasing on their page, but nonetheless, we have a functioning Safari and we have the functioning globe. So I already showed you that if you touch, hold and drag the middle gray bar off to either side, it will close one of the apps. So the next way to close an app is to double click the home screen. From here, you can choose to close either the app on the left or the app on the right. Let's close the app on the left, the map. Just touch and hold and drag up. And now for a pro tip on how to split screen multitask. This time we're going to pick the calendar, which says Tuesday the 12th. We're going to touch and hold. Then we're going to drag up and over on top of this. And that happens. And then this happens. Let's put it to the left. And release. Boom. Let's try that masterful way again. Let's double tap the home screen. This time, let's close the Safari browser on the right by doing a quick little flick upward. Touch and flick. And it's gone. Now let's show you one more masterful thing again. This time, let's open up the notes. Let's touch and hold. Now drag up onto this. Let's get our split screen. Let's put it to the right this time. Release. Now this is a new iPad, so I've never used the calendar and I've never used the notes. But here we are, two individually functioning apps. Now the last cool trick I'm going to show you, double tap the home screen. Let's pick the calendar, touch and hold, and let's drag away. Make it its own separate window. These are no longer paired as split screen apps. Now why would that matter? That's because many users get stuck in the split screen. Let's put them back together. I will touch hold and I will drag this on top of that. And boom, split screen again. This is notes and calendar. Let me go to the desktop. Now look what happens if I hit the calendar. It comes up with notes. Look what happens when I open up notes. They're paired together. Some people get stuck like this. What if you opened up Safari? And then you opened up on accident another Safari. Now you have two Safaris. So it's very important to know how to leave the split screen mode. You already know to hold and touch and drag the gray bar over to either side until it goes away. Or the new way, 
double click the home screen. As you can see, we have two sets of split screen apps going on. Let's close one of the browsers. Let's close the notes. And now nothing is split screen. Let's go ahead and close the Safari. Let's close the calendar and we are done with this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comments section down below. Thank you. See you next time.